Hello friends, welcome to this lesson. In this I'll be explaining some of the basic concepts which will be coming across in the whole course. Okay. So the very first concept is of a pathogen. What is a pathogen? Have you would have come across this term many times, okay? In class 10th, you would you would have read about this. So pathogen is any disease causing organism. Okay, it can be a bacteria, it can be a virus, it can be a protozoan, it can be a fungi, it can be anything, okay, which causes the uh, disease. Okay, so can you give me an example of any any pathogen? Give mycobacterium tuberculosis, right? The causative organism, the pathogen of TB. Let's take the example of HIV, human immunodeficiency virus. It is the causative organism of HIV AIDS. Okay. Then another example. Plasmodium. Causative organism of malaria. Another example. Salmonera typhimidium. Okay. That's in short called Salmonera typhi. Causative organism of typhoid. Okay. So these all organisms which cause disease in some other organism maybe in humans or in, in other organisms they are called as pathogens okay what pathogens pathogen means see pathology is something uh, abnormal happening in the body this, that is pathology and gen means someone who gives rise to that thing so the one who gives rise to the abnormal thing in the body he is called the pathogen okay then there is some concept of vectors we discussed the molecular vectors in the uh, biotechnology unit the ones who carry the foreign DNA. So here the vectors, they mean the ones who carry the pathogen. So, okay. So yeah, I use this example there and we are using that example here. So see, basically the vectors are vehicle. Okay. They are vehicle. The vehicle which carry pathogen from one place to other place. Okay. So let's take an example of mosquito. Mosquito, which molecule? Mosquito, female anopheles. Female anopheles transfers plasmodium into the human body. Okay, so female anopheles is a vehicle for the plasmodium. Here, plasmodium is the pathogen, and female anopheles is the vector. Okay, then there is something called infectious diseases and another thing called non infectious diseases. So, infectious are the diseases which are spread from person to person in, by different contacts okay my physical contact or um, some other some other contacts okay so they're also called as contagious by personal contact physical contact if the disease is spreading it is called as contagious disease or it is airborne or it is droplet in droplet infection okay so that is um, this infectious or contagious in the infectious diseases there is something called fomite infection now fomite infection is that the infection which spreads through things okay now how uh, like if someone infected with a disease he uh, touches or sneezes at some um, something okay like um, the infections which spread by using same materials by spreading by using same clothes um, you must have come across some of the fungal infections which are uh, tr transmitted from person to person by using same towels okay so the infections which are uh, transferred by these things like towels, combs, etc. So they are called as fomite infections. Okay. Then there was a scientist, Robert Koch. Okay. He gave some postulates of infectious diseases. Okay. So what are they? I mean, uh, he gave that the, he gave four postulates. Okay. Four are the main and there are some molecular, molecular postulates also, which he didn't give. So the first is that the microorganism should be found in all cases of the disease in question and its distribution in the body should be in accordance with the lesion observed. Okay, this was the first. Then the second was that the organism should be grown in pure culture in vitro. Okay, for several generations. Then when such a pure culture is inoculated in, into susceptible animal species, the typical disease must result. Then the last postulate was that the microorganism must again be isolated from the lesions of such experimentally produced diseases. See, cause postulates, it is not discussed in NCRT and nowhere the term is used. 
therefore this is not important for board examinations okay this won't be asked in board examinations for writing but <clears throat> in the competitive examinations like games or aibmt and if you don't consider these exams then let's talk about the olympiads okay or kpy it can be surely asked in those examinations that four terms will be four statements will be given and they'll ask which of the following is not a postulate of robert Koch. then you'll have to select the wrong one so <clears throat> just keep uh, a good idea of these four postulates they're pretty easy okay so that's it from this lesson thank you